Hello YouTube. Yesterday I said that building a um, stepper motor controller is absolutely easy. Well, in order to demonstrate how how easy it actually is, I thought I could just um, write a um, stepper motor positioning controller from the scratch, and maybe uh, some of you guys um, could could use the code for your own projects. Um, Okay, let's start. Okay, this is an empty project. We're starting with a main function and a uh, systic interrupt. This is a, um, a timer interrupt. And what what we need to, to control a, a stepper motor? <laughs> we, we need, uh, first of all, we need a function that can do one step. So a function motor step and this function needs to know um, the direction and that's it as already discussed yesterday we need to generate a proper um, sequence for the stepper motor. So let's have a closer look at this again. Uh, step. This is the the output sequence that I've showed yesterday. And all we need to do now is to generate this sequence um, either in the one direction or in the other direction. So first of all, we need to figure out the direction Okay, I've just inserted two defines, direction counterclockwise or clockwise, and the next step is to insert a variable that um, counts the sequence, the sequence position. Therefore, So in the counterclockwise direction, we increment the sequence counter. And if the sequence counter is um, larger than seven, we will start or roll over to zero. 
So basically, after seven, we will start here again. And of course, in the other direction, we will have to do the same. If So starting at 7, for example, 6, 5, and so on. And at 0, this statement isn't true anymore. Um, oh, sorry. Then we will ro roll over to 7 again. So. so what we've got here is actually a counter that can depending on the direction, count from 0 to 7 or from 7 to 0. Um, what we need now is a tr transformation table that will translate these numbers here to these output values. So let's implement this um, using a switch statement. Okay, now these values 0 to 7 will be transformed to these binary output values here. Um, last but not least, we need to send this value to the output data register. And that should be it. Okay, let's beautify the code a little bit. So this is the transformation table. sequence counter and the output pattern generator.
Okay, let's test this function. Ha, ah, no errors, everything looks good. Let's have a look at the hardware. Okay, as you can see, the clockwise direction is working perfectly fine. Now let's have a look at the counterclockwise. We only need to change clockwise to counterclockwise direction, compile it and then flash it. Now the motor is successfully rotating in the other direction. So up to now, everything is looking very good. The next step is to implement the positioning controller. For this, we need two variables. Motor actual position and motor target position. Now we go to the Sysdic handler and just ask if the motor target position is different from the actual position. That means actually we, we have um, to do something. The motor needs to do some steps. We just need to, um, then we just need to figure out which direction. So we just ask Is the target um, position um, smaller or bigger than the um, actual position. If the target position is um, bigger than the motor step direction will be counterclockwise. otherwise clockwise. And last but not least, since we are um, doing some movement here, we need to keep track of it. Therefore, the actual position will be incremented or decremented. Just double check. Yeah, that should work. Then we need to provide the um, prototype for the cystic handler so that um, it will 
know the the function motor step. Let's give it a try. Yep. Finally, we can give our positioning controller some jobs to do. Um, we just need to to change the target position and everything else will be done in the cystic handler so for example starting at 1000 and we need to wait until the job has finished and after that another job Okay, let's give it a try. As you can see, the positioning controller works as expected. And this was just a, a very simple example here, how to build a positioning controller. Uh, I hope you, you liked this video. And if yes, just give me a thumbs up, share the video. And I'm really looking forward to your comments in the comment section. Bye-bye.